Hey, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to make another video here about what's on my Mac. It's been a minute <laughs> since I've made a video uh, about this. I think it was actually last year around this time. So a lot has changed, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so first off you can see my wallpaper has changed. Uh, I've decided to now use the Solar Gradient, which is one of the new wallpapers that changes throughout the day. So as you can see, it is 10, almost 11 o'clock in the morning. So we have a nice bright blue background with a little bit of sun kind of at the bottom. As the day goes on, it gets dimmer and dimmer and it's eventually uh, a dark color at the end of the day. So it's really nice. I love the dynamic wallpapers. But yeah, that's what I've changed to uh, recently. If we take a look at my dock, you can see that it looks almost the same as it did in my previous What's On My Mac video, but I have removed a few things here and there. So I'm trying to go a lot more simple and clean. That's my end goal. So we have Finder, Safari. If you remember, I had System Preferences and Google Chrome in here, but I since removed those. Uh, then we have the Mac Mail application, the Outlook application, Messages, Calendar, Spotify. Microsoft Word, the Apple Notes app, the Apple Stickies app, iMovie, and VirtualBox. And then QuickTime Player is just here because I'm screen recording right now. And then we have my Google Drive folder right there. We go into Launchpad. You can see, as usual, I have all of the Apple applications here on the first page. A recent addition here is Xcode. I've been playing around with that a little bit here and there. Um, so that's a recent app that I've installed. But over here you can see we just have Spotify and the music and utilities. We have Backup and Sync from Google, which is Google Drive, Dropbox, Jolt to Caffeine, which is a great application uh, that keeps your screen on at all times. So you see this little thing up here, you can just click it and you can see that um, it basically determines whether or not your computer is going to sleep. So if you click on that, your computer will not go to sleep at all. And I use that a lot. Um, it's so handy and useful. Uh, if we take a look here, we have VirtualBox and then we have the iMazing HEIC converter. So as you know, Apple has a new file format for photos on iOS and they use the HEIC extension instead of JPEGs. So sometimes you may need to convert those photos um, back to a JPEG. So this is a really nice simple app that allows you to do that. And then finally we have TubeBuddy for YouTube which is a nice little YouTube extension. It kind of gives you tips and tricks like what tags you should use or how this tag would rank um, and video tips, just different things. It's a great little um, thing to have. Then we have the Microsoft Office Suite right here. So Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, OneNote, and OneDrive. And then we have Google Chrome right there. Um, another app that I'm probably gonna install within the next few days is um, some sort of Python ID, so I'm thinking about PyCharm, so that'll be something that'll be added here soon. Uh, but other than that, that is pretty much it. Like I said, I'm trying to go for a nice, clean, simple look. I have made the dock slightly larger as well, uh, but yeah, I just like a nice, clean desktop, a nice, simple dock, and not too much going on, so... That's my current setup, what's on my Mac for December of 2019. Let me know what you think about it, and I will catch you all in the next video.